Hi and welcome to my channel and today I'm doing a sketch dump of Pathfinder tokens that I've made for our different campaigns that we do. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about each of these characters and kind of what I did and yeah, that's about really all there is to it. So uh, for those of you Homestuck fans out there you might recognize this one a little bit. Um, in one of the campaigns we're doing I made a character that I based off of Tavros Nitrum and our DM who is my husband decided that our big bad is Friska and he made a greater Bargeist um, and basically gave her Friska features so I had to draw her a token for our campaign so he had, didn't have to use like a generic one and uh, yeah, the only instructions I was given is don't make her look that ugly. Well, she's a monster and she's ugly on the inside, so whatever. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't put a whole lot of detail into these because uh, they're very, very small. And um, you, you can, you don't really see too much of them. So I just try to do like bigger shapes and big blocks of colors. Uh, so that way it's, you know, easy to see at a glance. This one is a satyr based off of Gamzy. His name is Ramsey. Uh, also did this very fast because again, it's just a small token. That's Tavern's boyfriend. Tavern is my Tavros character. And this one is Bunty from my first campaign that I ever, I guess, completed, you could say. Um, I actually plan on telling this story very soon because uh, as tragic as it is, the campaign was really, really good and uh, I'm, if you're in Bobon's Discord, you've probably heard me like screaming about the evil, evil things that the DM has done to Bunty. Um, yeah, she's based off of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is Names. He used to be a goblin, um, but he has recently evolved into a hobgoblin. Um, this was really fun to draw. I, I didn't realize how much I like drawing goblins and hobgoblins. They just have really cool faces. They're like really pointy. And <laughs> My dog's here now. They're, they're really pointy and they have really cool faces. And these are top-down figures. Um, the cool thing about these um, is the map that we use you basically look at from a top-down perspective as in like you are looking down at the map and you are like you're imagine like you're looking through a hole to the floor so when you draw tokens like these you want to make sure that it's like you're looking at the top of their head down to their feet so that's like sort of the perspective and I did a base for these, but I had to do three different ones because there's three different types of hobgoblins that we were having to deal with. So we had like a one that had a sword and one that had a bow. And then there was like a hobgoblin captain. And I read on a Pathfinder page that they use pole arms. So this is, I guess, kind of similar to the goblin tokens that I did. Um, just a different format, I guess you could say. But they were fun to do. I like the purple on the hobgoblins and the perspective kind of made it easy to finish up and it was fun to give them different features. But like I was saying before, I do want to start talking about our Pathfinder campaigns. Um, I wanted to kind of do like illustrations like speed paints and then kind of talk through what happened in the campaign. I think that would be really fun to do. And a couple people I've talked to have sort of expressed interest in that and yeah I guess I should probably try to deal with the tragedy from those campaigns but that's it for this sketch dump thank you for watching uh, hopefully you'll get to see some more of these characters soon um, I didn't <laughs> I don't have any from the main campaign that we're doing right now but we, we do have uh, that that that's a whole thing as well um, and there's a, a moral to the story of why you should not uh, put something that you're interested in and try to project it into your campaign 
and also complain to your DM who you may or may not be married to about it because um, they will make bad things happen to your character. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that in another video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, I will be back next Saturday at noon EST with another one. There are links in the description where you can find me on various social media as well, a link, as well as a link to my coffee page where you can support the webcomic and I do doodles for donations and my commissions are still open. I swear I'm working on that commission page. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.